Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside with me today. Today I would like to address the most frequently asked question I get on Facebook and YouTube and that is, can you please do a video about different fletching lengths and if it really matters? Now, when it comes to shooting traditional equipment like recurves or long bows or self bows or flat bows, when it comes to shooting that versus compound, you have to shoot feathers. Shooting a feather fletched arrow means that this feather has to collapse in order to get past the shelf or off the rest. Even if you shoot an elevated rest, I still highly recommend that you shoot a feathered arrow. If you're shooting a compound, you can shoot either feather fletched or plastic veins of any brand if you're choosing. But the question is, do I shoot a five inch fletch of either style or like a little short two inch fletch? of either style. 10, 15 years ago, things like blazer veins just really didn't exist at the time, so you were handicapped to feathers or to a longer plastic fletch. Now, of course, the traditional fletching styles are feathers. We have a five inch feather, four inch feather, and a two and a half inch feather. This is a big hunting arrow. This is also a medium sized hunting arrow, and this is a competitive target shaft. The thought process is the bigger and heavier your arrow, and particularly if you're shooting a big fixed blade broadhead on the front end, the bigger your fletching needs to be. For something like an indoor target paper shoot, you don't need that much stabilization, so you can get away with a much smaller fletching. But in today's world, the technology has absolutely exploded. Things like carbon arrows have come so far. Great fletching styles, feathers are even better than they used to be. The plastic fletchings that we have today, things like blazer veins and fusion X veins and AAE fletch like that, they're just so much more phenomenal than they were 10, 15 years ago. So here's the question really everybody wants answered. This is a five inch plastic fletch vein and here we have a two inch blazer vein. Really, this is what people are looking at when it comes to what am I going to shoot? Unless you're a crossbow shooter or you're exclusively an indoor archer, these long plastic veins are pretty much outdated. When we started seeing different options other than feathers, and I couldn't put an exact date on that, but when we started seeing those options, it was thought that just like with the big feathers for a big broadhead or a big arrow, we needed something like these big, long, kind of unsightly plastic veins. And they were right for a while. They thought there's no way we can create something that would have that level of stabilization in a much smaller, lighter package until something like blazer veins came around. There are other different uh, brands as well but blazer veins achieve the same amount of stabilization for the most part with a much shorter and a little bit higher profile so they're a little bit wider this way than this five inch plastic vein so if it were me i would pick a smaller vein now when it comes again to recurve traditional shooters you're going to want to probably still stick with a, a bigger longer feather if you're going to use it in a hunting situation. That big heavy arrow is going to need as much stabilization as it's going to get, in particular since you're probably shooting a fixed blade broadhead. But if you're going to shoot a compound, you're shooting field points and small wind drift mechanicals, blazer veins are going to be your go-to. Now this is not to say that shooting a longer fletch, in particular plastic ones, is a bad idea or it's going to hurt you and hurt your bow and hurt the performance and hurt your accuracy. That's not true at all. Some of the things that will, however, add a disadvantage, it's gonna add more weight to your arrow, so your arrow's gonna be slower, which again, could not be a bad thing if you want that slower, quieter bow. I, for one, do like a slower, quieter bow, but I do shoot pretty heavy arrows, even with blazer veins. It does add a little bit more weight to your arrow, like I just said, but it adds it to the back end of the arrow. So if you've ever heard the term FOC, or front of center, front of center refers to the weight of the arrow, you want a higher front of center. So if you were to take the arrow, without the knock, inserts, fletchings, or anything on it, the balance point should be right in the middle of that unladen shaft. As soon as you start adding weight, it should hopefully that center point slide forward towards the point, and that is your front of center, right? So here's your center line, you wanna be front of center. Normally you wanna have, with a lar larger, heavier hunting arrow, you wanna have a little bit higher front of center than the target shaft. If you add a big, long, um, plastic vein, in particular feathers are a lot lighter. If you add a big long plastic vein, it's gonna slide that front of center back a little bit. So it does add more mass weight to the air, but necessarily not on the end that you want. So if you want an answer, traditional shooters, you have to have feathers. Compound, you can pick. You can pick any length you want. You can pick either feather or plastic. So I hope that's able to answer your question. If you ever have any further questions about fletchings or arrows or bows or anything else with archery in general, you can always hit me up on my Facebook page. You can leave a comment down below or even leave me a message here on YouTube. I hope you're able to get outside, enjoy God's beautiful creation, enjoy the sport of archery and archery hunting if you so choose. And we'll get to see you next time.